Jack Cornett was quite literally born into engine building. His father, Red Cornett, opened a machine shop in 1948. And once Jack was old enough to help out, it became the only job he's ever had. What's been his only job in life has turned into Jack's passion today. In the early 80s, Jack was at a crossroads. His dad wanted to move away from building race engines, instead opting for heavy equipment work. Jack could continue to help his dad and brother doing that, or he could take over the shop's second building and focus on race engines. He decided to choose the race engines. Today, his shop, Cornet Racing Engines in Somerset, Kentucky, builds engines for asphalt oval track, dirt oval track, truck pulling, dirt late model, open wheel modifieds, and the occasional street and drag engine. Cornet recently built this 433 CID 4 dirt late model engine, and we're gonna tell you all about it in this edition of Engine of the Week. This video is sponsored by Pengrade. Precision, performance, Pengrade. Always the original green oil. And by L-Ring, leading technology, leading service. I'm Greg Jones, editor of Engine Builder Magazine. Today we're talking about Cornet Racing Engine's 433 CID Ford Dirt Late Model Engine build, which started with an aluminum Windsor block. The shop bores the cam tunnel for 55 millimeter roller bearings. They bore the lifter bores for a 937 diameter lifter, and the block gets the normal machining, such as decking, boring, and honing. Cornette runs a Sonny Bryant billet crank in this engine and uses a four inch stroke. The crank is a 351 Cleveland main size 2750. The shop runs a two inch rod journal and balances the crank in house. The camshaft is from comp cams and has proprietary lobes. The engine utilizes an Exodyne belt drive on the front, an ATI super damper, and a Jones machine drive kit to drive the water pump. The rods are dyers and have a 3 8 rod bolt. Cornet also uses Mala pistons and starts at a 4150 bore. The shop also incorporated total seal rings, coated trend wrist pins, and Clevite coated bearings. The oil pan on this engine is an aluminum pan made by Dan Olson. It's actually a segmented pan that has a section in it, which goes over the top of the main cap to seal it from the next section. The pan is divided into four sections, and there's a pickup in each of those sections. Cornet also used cylinder heads that are a Ford D3 casting. The heads are CNC'd to Cornet's proprietary specs. The exhaust valve stands straight up, and the intake valve is canted. Those valves are also coated, which Jack says is crucial to the engine's success on dirt. For the rocker arms, Cornet uses a steel T&D rocker shaft assembly. The valve springs are small at just a one and a quarter inch diameter. The springs will only have about 150 to 160 pounds of pressure on the seat, but 700 pounds plus when they're open. They'll turn 9,000 RPM all day long, according to Jack. The 433 Ford also uses a 7 16 push rod from Trend. The valve covers are billet and the intake manifold is a two piece billet intake made from one chunk of aluminum. The neat thing about that setup is it's infinitely adjustable to make more bottom end or top end power, whichever you wanna do. The race rules for this engine dictate that the shop uses a single four barrel carb on gas. Cornette uses a winning edge carburetor and tailors the Venturi size for the customer. To finish this build off, the shop put the 433 Ford on their Superflow 902 dyno where it cranked out over 900 horsepower and 675 pound-feet of torque. Now all that's left to do is to get it on the racetrack. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. A special thanks goes out to our sponsors, Pengrade and L-Ring. And remember, folks, if you have an engine you'd like to feature, please email me at gjones at babcox.com. See you all next time.